this is uh, lecture number one machine learning uh, this is brief, brief series of machine learning uh, for simple concepts uh, now I will start there are some of the goals uh, you people are going to learn machine learning first goal it might be you want to get some job or it is part of your research or course you have to pass for the degree program so there are different goals for different people next there is some prerequisite for every course and here the prerequisite for machine learning is linear algebra and probability these two courses are the prerequisite for the machine learning project uh, if required I'll assign a project uh, to you people next major areas there are different major areas uh, for the applications of machine learning in today life almost every area machine learning is applicable in electrical engineering as well as different areas so next the definition of machine learning computers have ability to learn without explicitly programmed Arthur Samuel 1959 their definition is a somewhat old definition of machine learning uh, in today or some latest or uh, derived definition might be a computer learn from experience E with respect to some task T and some performance P and in each iteration it learns and performance improve then it learns from some experience with respect to that task and with some performance the performance will going to improve in the next iteration and go on that is by the Tom Mitchell in 1998 now the definition evolves or improves <clears throat> there are uh, some tools of the machine learning first of the tool we are going to learn is supervised learning for example if you are going to take or find the price of a house the size of the house is on x-axis and the prices are on y-axis and we mention some dots on it and we have to plot now in supervised learning x y is given as it is given the prices and house next x is given and y is mapped means now we want to find uh, x for example the size of the house and we have to find the price given is size want to find the price so that is mapping so in supervised learning x y is given in the form of data or labeled data similarly uh, there is another example there is a tumor in uh, some mind of the person and we got want to find it is malignant or not so there are two possibilities it is malignant then he or she will die and it is non malignant then he or she will not die so data might be uh, possible that if the person has some tumor and it is malignant non malignant the other person has some tumor and it is malignant so these two points are uh, not on the same line if there is some point on x axis then it will uh, uh, not be available on the malignant part so next I, I want to get it short next the classifications so that is the best example of regression in regression we are going to find that x and y two uh, values are given in continuous so 